I'm saying hello today from the beautiful village of Bell Fountain in Ontario, just about maybe an hour west northwest of Toronto. And I've already had a look at the beautiful Bell Fountain Conservation Area and the Bell Fountain Inn. And I'm just doing a little stroll through town and I'm dropped into the store here. I'm drinking a little uh, lemonade right now that I just purchased and I'm talking with the owner here, Tamron. Yes. And what is the name of your store? It's actually called Tamron mm -hmm. Centers for Wellbeing. Okay. We're a self-development company actually. One uh -huh. of the first in Caledon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, self-development, what does that encompass? Well, I actually came up with that name because it's it's a beautiful store where we make everything by hand. And uh -huh. It's all organic, fresh ingredients okay. and raw, which means we don't cook the food and everything is still alive. Yes. But what we also have here is we have an area on the upstairs of this beautiful building where we have offices and it's for coaching programs. Oh, well, there you um, go. Mm -hmm. Box our remedies. We have some treatment rooms. So it's about teaching people how to trust themselves, mm -hmm. follow their intuition so that they can guide themselves into a healthier lifestyle. Oh, isn't that so interesting? we're trying to yeah, teach people how to use herbs and how to yeah. use the food that we have here at some of the services mm -hmm. so that they can actually feel the difference that what we offer here makes in the body and decide whether it feels good yeah. or it feels bad. And if right. it feels great, then come on back. Keep because, keep going with it. Exactly. You know, to trust it. Yeah. That's so right. It's great. So I call that self-development. To me, that's teaching someone how to listen to themselves. Makes so, sense. Yeah. Perfect makes sense. Makes sense to me. I don't know. Now, can I borrow you and Absolutely. bring you over here to this area? Yeah. Because we have some interesting things here in your display case. Yeah. It's I all made here. So made uh -huh. lots of love. Creamy garlic sauce. Yes, yeah, made from whipped cashews. Is the main ingredient. Whipped cashews. Raw cashews. Absolutely. Isn't that not interesting? Quite wow, yeah, that's cool. Because raw cashews are not roasted. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. The they're, they're white. I don't think I've ever seen them then in yeah. that case, because most of them are roasted, right? That's right. Yeah. Now we have tomato sauce. We have quinoa chili. This quinoa. Is what? Yeah. We oh, quinoa. Okay. okay. So that's why it's considered living. Wow, that's nice. a nice looking dish with, is it sesame on top or? That's the quinoa. Oh, that's the quinoa. That's the actual oh, okay. quinoa. So when you sprout something, mm -hmm. you get the little tail on it. And that's oh, really? the white part you see coming out of the quinoa seed. Yeah. And that means it has more enzymes in it. So okay. the body's going to be able to digest it better. Yeah. And that's where our protein hmm. is. And also we can absorb the vitamins and minerals better. Yeah. Because of the sprouting process. So Very it's interesting. So considered alive. Cool. Yeah. Now you have a zucchini hummus. hummus. Yes. You have beyond neon turmeric yes. dip. Yeah. That sounds very interesting. Yeah. Mango salad. That's very lovely and colorful. What's here in the middle? Raw um, pizza. Of a pizza and a burger. So we no. make it with sunflower seeds. Okay. Because we don't have bread here. Yeah. We use collard greens to wrap a lot of our sandwich items here. So oh, isn't that operation. interesting? So these are collard greens on yeah. the. On the outside. On the outside. And what's inside? It's actually made from sprouted sunflower seeds, and we add yeah. fresher ingredients like um, some of our vegetables, and we add some seasoning sometimes, mm -hmm. fresh herbs and things like that. And we put it in a dehydrator, so it doesn't heat the food. It's just a fan that blows air. Wow. And you leave it in there sometimes overnight, or mm -hmm. sometimes up to 24 hours, and it just gives it more of a drier texture. Mm -hmm. But it's still, the enzymes are still intact. So Isn't still that interesting? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then you And that works better with your digestive system, I assume. Absolutely. Okay. So your body's going to absorb more vitamins and minerals because uh -huh. the food is, is considered alive. Makes sense. Um, so this is why this food is so nutritious. Zucchini noodles, nut yeah. balls. They're what what are they? What That's kind of nuts? Our version of a meatball. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So but it's so dark. Why is it so dark? Because we've added a variety of nuts. We've added ground flax seeds. Uh-huh. A little bit darker and we've had some seasonings in there and some fresh herbs. So when you mix it all together, it just darkens. It gets darker. Because they're in the dehydrator as well. But okay. Actually, that's one of my favorite dishes. Oh, yeah? With some garlic sauce on top yeah. and some olives. Really, yeah? That's my favorite. Yeah, I can see the olives here. Yes, they're amazing. Raw pitted olives and brine. I don't know what this is. This is baked or... No, nothing is baked here. Nothing's baked. Sometimes we make um, little versions of cookies yeah. or trail mix bars. Uh -huh. Great for hiking. People are out here hiking or right. skiing in the wintertime. So it's a great little snack. It's a good Packed energy food. Protein yeah. And pure energy. So everything exactly. we use here is real food. We oh. don't have any processed food. We teach people how to use real food ingredients. Yeah, I can see a little little yeah. posting here. What is raw food? Yeah. Uncooked, unprocessed, and organic. 
Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Let's have a look at the other side of your store. Sure. Now, this is a very historic building though, right? Absolutely. Uh, do you know when it was built originally? 1888. 1888. Yes. Yeah, so and it I was the village the store? It was the Bell Fountain Village yeah. store in yeah. 1888. So Love actually, it. when I purchased the building, I uh -huh. decided to try and restore as much of the old building as I could. Yeah. And my whole theme above the food and the soft development was to how to make people feel like they were walking into Grandma's kitchen yeah. in the forest. Yeah. And a lot of people say, oh, I feel like I'm on my Grandma's kitchen. I say, okay, it yeah. works. That's because what you wanted. Yeah, I want to get back to using real food. Get exactly. away from the processed microwave, yeah. dead food yeah. that's killing us. Mm -hmm. And get back to food that's alive and makes us glow and feel happy. Yeah, there you go. So, and you have chocolates here as well. Amazing chocolate. Yeah. Okay. We don't make these here. Yeah. The items we don't make. Mm -hmm. They actually come from California. Yeah. But um, the process they use is one foot it's cold press, so they're not heated. Okay. They use pure chocolate right off the bean, which is actually yeah, yeah. Oh, this a is branch of a cacao tree right here. Oh, really? Yeah. And they add medicinal herbs and essential oils to these chocolates, mm -hmm. so they are absolutely amazing. You can't stand and eat a whole one. Yeah. They're meant to be, you take a piece off, a small and piece, yeah. and enjoy it, and you know, you eat a lot of the herbs and the oils to yeah. into the bloodstream, so they're absolutely amazing. And I do have some favorites of those too, of course. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so we try to explain to people why the food is different here. And, yeah. You know, so they're a great gift idea, or if you want to treat yourself. This is yeah. really a treat because it's not damaging the body. Yeah, it's exactly. Body. Now, how long have you been here? We opened in November of 2009. Also fairly recently. Yes. Do you have a website in case people yes, want to look do. you up? It's Tamron, uh -huh. T-A-M-M-E-R-O-N uh -huh. dot C-A. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank giving you. me a great overview of your yeah. store. Thanks for popping in. Okay, no problem. Okay.